Hello Virgo, I am racing against the dying light today here to get to complete my readings for the week. Uh, I'm really trying to be a little bit more organised and plan in advance a bit better, which I, Virgo, I know you can appreciate that. Uh, now your song made me laugh because it was Vertigo by Khalid. I was like, song for Virgo, song for, Vir for Virgo, and they gave me Vertigo, which kind of sounds like Virgo. Um, are we better off believing what the ignorance suggests? I wish living life was easy, but mine has been a mess. They say it comes with the seasons, but the seasons come and go. I go blurry when I'm thinking, is it me or vertigo? Criticised, who am I to give up? I'm breathing, what's the reason to let up? Sympathise, who am I to give up? Putting on my favourite get up. Are we alive or are we dreaming? After the ride, are you leaving? Are we alive or are we dreaming? After the ride, are you leaving? I've been better off than broken, I've been battered, I've been beat. I wish I was more outspoken, but the words are out of reach. I thought I loved you in the moment, I was happy I was young, but I've been learning, I've been growing, but the worst is yet to come. Falling with our eyes closed. So, uh, I don't know, take that, if it resonates, leave it, if it doesn't, we'll see what becomes of that as we go through your reading. Um, I am easing up on the intuitive messages in the star sign readings, um, I'm going to put those in the tell me anything readings, so if you like those, watch out for the tell me anything readings and see if anything there resonates. Um, I'm going to kind of play it by ear with those. Trying to speed up, trying to save you and myself time uh, by making the uh, star sign readings a little bit shorter. So here we go. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. It's my own spin on it. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. So Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Can I get a card please for Virgo? Like too many cards. Virgo, you can't have that many cards. Uh, I'll take the two that have fallen out, but you've also got here companionship and animals, so finding a lot of um, comfort with animals possibly, and solitary in this desert. So perhaps some of you are alone right now. Uh, Virgo, you are a very solitary sign. It's funny that you're a solitary sign. You kind of like to go inwards and do that hermit mode quite a lot, but you also really like companionship. You are quite a social, surprisingly social sign, which I don't think many people realise about Virgo. But I think you do like to have people around you, and if it's not people, it's animals. My Virgo friend going, growing up, she was she loved animals. She had uh, so she kind of had like basically every pet you could ever imagine having. She more or less had, and then she went and worked in uh, a place with animals. Um, growth of plants, very Virgo, Virgo and energy again. That kind of seven of pentacles, investing time and effort into something to to see the results paying off an ignition fire so wanting to be passionate about what you do I think wanting to be passionate about things that you do every day um sorry I just got a notification just made that go uh so yeah wanting to it's like wanting to light a spark inside you wanting growth wanting to feel like you're passionate about what you do but it's almost you see it's almost like this person lights the fire, can you see it? And then it's like it blows back and almost sets this tree on fire. So, sometimes fires are cleansing. So, um, it feels like, I'm not quite sure what I'm getting. It feels like, um, you know how like sometimes a forest fire will happen and then it's like um, it clears out those really old big trees, uh, it clears them out um, from, you know, the canopy so that the new saplings can grow. So it feels like new ideas growing. Tell me about Virgo's energy, please. Wanting to invest your energy into something new. A uh, dragonfly. The dragonfly is like the, the dirty butt of life in me, uh, but they're kind of magnificent, right? So um, they're kind of born from swampy environments, from difficult environments, maybe coming from a background that isn't that impressive, but they they become impressive. They rise up, they fly high, they have that sting in the tail. The sting in the tail can come from um, coming from more difficult backgrounds where you've almost had to fight for what you have. So... Rising up from murky depths and being quite impressive as you do so is what I'm getting there. Right, Virgo, let's go to the heart of the matter. What is the heart of the matter, please, for Virgo today? 
what is the heart of the matter please for virgo the heart of the matter please for virgo uh you are either on the defensive or you're saving up for something um this is kind of like putting money in your purse saving for a rainy day uh being a bit stingy or having kind of money concerns um being a bit defensive about money um it can be quite a sulky energy as well so sometimes it's like um a bit miserly kind of energy uh, it may not be about money it may be about something kind of like tangible possessions uh, your own um your own space possibly it's like this is my space um i don't want anyone coming into my space this is like my my business here um what is the blockage please for virgo what's the blockage please there's an obstacle here it could be in regards to a boss um, if the King of Pentacles could be somebody around you, the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who's very, uh, again, miserly, stingy. Uh, they don't put the effort in over time. They don't. They're not prepared to put in the hard work. Um, the hard work that somebody's been putting in could could not be going anywhere. Uh, it's like, well, what am I investing all this time in into this for if it's not actually going to bring me the results? So you could be waiting on a decision by some kind of like boss or father energy. Um, and you're like, well, I'm not investing any more of my time into this unless you start to kind of give back. Um, the King of Pentacles in the reverse, though, it could also be you. It is an um, Earth sign energy. Typically, I see this as more, it's it's Taurian energy, and I do see it as sometimes Capricorn energy. Virgo, I see you as more of a team player than a boss, but um, there could be some reluctance here to step up into some kind of leadership position or... Um, there could be uh, issues of jealousy or uh, feeling unfulfilled in some kind of practical or tangible aspect of your life. What led to this position? <sighs> Lack of communication and... <sighs> Lack of communication, lack of truth, lack of honesty, lack of action, inaction... Uh, somebody could have been quite cutting with the words, sharp with the words. Somebody could have been a bit in and out, like rushing in, taking action one day and then rushing off and doing something else another day. It's a bit like, well, where do I stand here with this person? But, you know, I am asking about your energy. So you were inconsistent with the amount of energy that you put into something, I feel. Um, the Five of Cups is about um, crying over spilt milk, feeling disappointed, emotionally disappointed in a situation and not seeing that there's um, somebody who's your emotional equal waiting in the sidelines to come and offer you support. I do feel like you are seeing, you are acknowledging that other energy. You, you're kind of done crying over spilt milk. You're done feeling emotionally exhausted about things that, you know, you invested in that that weren't working out for you anymore and you're ready to kind of Im invest your emotions or you were ready because this is the past you were ready to emotionally invest in something that felt like an equal opportunity but it's, something's not working out here you feel like you're giving more to a situation and somebody else is being quite either taking too much or just not pulling that pulling not pulling the weight in this situation so what does Virgo hope for please you're getting too many cards I'm trying to do a quick reading getting a lot of things in reverse you've got i feel like you've got a negative mindset i think libra had something similar where they were getting cards in reverse in like the the hopes and wishes uh you hope that you hope that you do, don't continue to get trapped in negative thought cycle regarding um things from the past that you could feel quite nostalgic about it feels like you you hope that um, you can get over things from the past that you get hung up on mentally. Uh, you don't want to get stuck in negative thought cycles. But that is a very pessimistic thing to hope for, Virgo. You're thinking, like Libra was, you're thinking, I don't want the worst to happen. Um, I hope that the worst doesn't happen. But that's not positive manifestation that's um that's actually low vibrational energy you need to hope for the best uh plan for the worst and hope for the best but you're hoping the worst doesn't happen uh which is not it almost uh, the universe doesn't always distinguish between um 
what's a positive hope and a negative hope. So sometimes if you're thinking, spending too much time thinking about the worst possible outcome and thinking, I hope that worst, terrible thing doesn't happen, you can actually manifest it accidentally. So try and think positively. Um, you are a sign that does have a tendency towards negative thought patterns, so watch out for that. I'm going to ask what's going on subconsciously for you. It could be something uh, that you're not even aware of. So when this comes out, your knee-jerk reaction might be, uh, uh not me, that's, uh, th that's not me. Let it sink in a little bit, it's, you know, entertain me, have a think about it, because if it is something you're not consciously aware of and you look at it and shine a light on it, it may actually help you in your situation. So what's going on subconsciously, please? for Virgo so you've got the Capricorn energy the devil energy there uh, it is your energy and the seven of wands so you do not realize how defensive you're being and this is a toxic behavior pattern for you your um your defensiveness your uh need to get the higher ground uh, the upper hand in a situation is actually um it's actually toxic uh, quite frankly, with the devil, uh, you you this is the doc, the devil represents something either that's shadow energy, um, you know, an aspect of yourself that um, holds you back. Um, so it can be things like uh, addictions or negative um, negative uh, thought patterns. Um, and what it's shown is that subconsciously you're defensive about something. You uh, want to you want to be you want it's like you want the upper hand. You, you're defensive, you want to be, it's like you want to be right or you want to be the best, um, but it's, it's, it's toxic. Sorry, Virgo. <laughs> Again, uh, spend a bit of time thinking about it, think, do I do that? If you don't, brilliant, okay, it's just not for you, it's a general reading, leave it for somebody else. If you are like, oh, ouch, yeah, actually, I think I do do that, brilliant, good, you've, you, aware of it now you can break that cycle right you can break that that behavior pattern once you become aware of it what is virgo's strength virgo energy seven of pentacles your strength is your ability to nurture um nurture things over time you uh you invest your time into things um you have a lot of patience you know that good things take time uh you know things sometimes um you have to put a lot of work in before things pay off. So your ability to to be very patient, to kind of do things um, slowly and methodically with a lot of care will pay off in the long run. That's your strength. So hold on to that. It's very Virgo in energy. Uh, nurturing things over time, tending to things over time, making sure you, ha you invest your time consistently into things um okay so what is virgo's fear please what is virgo afraid of because i can see you're afraid of something here um what is virgo afraid of please why is the page of swords what virgo is afraid of you are afraid of comp learning this is learning um gathering information you're afraid of finding something out regarding competition and an empress in reverse the empress is like um the empress in the upright is like somebody who's very uh mature she's all four queens of the tarot she's very strong uh, she's also very nurturing and there's a lot of expansion and growth with this person. You're afraid of finding out this competition. It could be your energy. It could be somebody around you. Of learning that there's competition, which means that there's no growth in an opportunity or a connection. This is like spying energy. This is success. You're afraid of learning that there's where you've been investing your time it's not going to be successful or you've been investing it in the wrong person or <sighs> it's something to do with finding something out that's a fear it doesn't mean it's really happening it's just something you're afraid of um 
what energy is around Virgo that's affecting them? What's an external energy that's affecting Virgo's reading today? An external energy affecting Virgo's reading. So somebody around you has done a lot of healing. Um, somebody around you has... It feels like has some sort of heartbreak about a situation from the past. Um, they... It comes with a sense of betrayal, a sense of being stabbed in the back. So again, this is some the way somebody around you is feeling. This is not your energy. Um, this person is walking away from a situation because they're trying to make themselves um, happy on the inside. They want to feel like they're not codependent. They want to have their dreams and wishes manifested somebody just wants to be happy after being quite heartbroken and hurt in the past so this to me feels like somebody who may need your support maybe a friend you know may need to reach out to a friend and offer help um yeah they're just trying to heal after a heartbreak and be be internally happy right not not rely on other people for their own happiness uh it could be somebody who's been codependent on you in your on you in the past who you're trying to support or not even on you somebody who has been in some kind of codependent situation in the past who has been really they've had a rough deal and if they feel like you could be assisting them to get back on the feet but you need to, you don't want to create codependency there so uh, what is the best advice, please, for Virgo? Queen of Cups. Your advice is to be very emotionally stable, emotionally grounded, really get in touch with your emotions, uh, trust your intuition, um, let your emotions flow, um, be expressive, not volatile, but, you know, explain how you're feeling. Be open about how you're feeling in situations. Um, but it's very mature. It's very grounded and going with the emotional flow rather than being pushed around by your emotions. You may want to, like, meditate or, uh, you know, do things that feel particularly healing for you. Um this could be someone you need to reach out to, somebody that could give you really good advice about emotions. Uh, it could be like a mother figure, a love interest, somebody who, a really good friend, this could be a water sign, but this is somebody who's um, intuitive and uh, they have an emotional depth and they're expressive, right? They have a lot of love to give, they're very nurturing. So um, it's either somebody you need to reach out to or it's you being very emotionally in touch with yourself, your, your emotional core. Um, and being quite expressive with that. If Virgo follows all the advice in the reading today, what is the predicted outcome, please? What is the predicted outcome for Virgo, please? Thank you. Uh, choices. Uh, this is really positive. You may feel quite confused. Um, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed. It's like all of a sudden, like there's no opportunity. You're not getting anywhere. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I've got so much choice. What do I do? What do I choose? I, I don't know. It's like, how do I possibly choose if I don't know the outcome? <laughs> it's like that Virgo energy of like, I need to know the answer. I need to know where this is going to go before I can commit to it. Um, maybe you're being told to see choices as um, an opportunity to experiment, an opportunity to have freedom, an opportunity to figure out what works for you and what doesn't. Think of it as... Um, experimentation and fun okay the way you approach it approach it in a way that's like um oh i'm so excited i've got so many oh i wonder what's under this cup i wonder what's under this cup rather than i wonder what terrible thing is going to happen when i choose this so yeah see the excuse me see the choices as a positive i'm so sorry about that <laughs> um and then yeah you've got a hidden strength under there on the underlying all right uh funny that that animals card came out for you because the deck that i've chosen to get your advice card from is actually the um an animal deck it's an animal oracle but i need to get you a song on camera first let me just pull this up so please can i get um a song for virgo today can i get a song that is going to give them the best possible advice please for their reading for the next steps stockholm syndrome losing track of time lose my mind it's all inside my head. 
Can't get out untied. Hostage of your eyes. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm affected by Stockholm Syndrome. Mm, are you codependent on somebody? Maybe you need to learn from this person who's trying to be independently happy. Um, Stockholm Syndrome. It's like seeing a situation... I don't know. Find, you, you know what? Take that song as it resonates. <laughs> Maybe you know somebody called Sophia. Maybe that person could give, give you good advice. I don't know. Okay, so... Best advice, please, for Virgo. Best advice, please, for Virgo. They're telling me as one door as one door closes, more doors open. With as I looked at that Seven of Cups, so I think I may have mangled the the thing a bit, but that's what they were giving me. Uh, best advice, please, for Virgo. Come on, I don't have all day. <laughs> time is money. Um, all these earth signs. Time is time is money. Um, Rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. Porcupine spirit, time for beginner mind. Again, there you go. Time for beginner mind. It's like as one door closes, other doors open up. Uh, so see it as something that's exciting, right? That you can get stuck into. Uh, sandpiper spirit, be playful. Exactly. Those two cards is, is exactly what I was saying here. Um, approach this situation um, with a fun, playful spirit. It's like, oh, this is exciting. It's like Christmas. What happens if I do this? What happens if I do this? Uh, rather than being like, what if it all goes horribly wrong? Which is a very Virgo tendency, I'm afraid. I'm going to read Rhino Spirit though. I'm not going to read all three because I kind of feel like this is what I was saying here. I feel like we know what this means. Uh, Rhino Spirit though, what are you here to tell us? I may read all three. You're only 20 minutes in and everybody else is getting stupidly long readings. I am aiming for like 15, 20 minutes. So um, overcome any obstacle. We always have a choice to press ahead. And Rhino spirit strength offers you the power to break through stubborn obstacles. This animal spirit knows that there is more than one way to open a path to what you seek. Because I can see that you're very stuck here, actually. Um, when Rhino Spirit appears, you are reminded that you have a marvellous ability to overcome obstacles in multiple ways. Choices! By going around them, shattering them with the uh, force of clear, deliberate intentions, or even transforming them into the clouds that drift away by refusing to allow them to limit you. Apply your Rhino Spirit with creativity and no obstacle can stand, for you have the magic to make, and in many ways, no, you have magic to make and many ways in which to make it. Your power is awesome right now. Rhino Spirit also wants to remind you that when an obstacle appears to prevent you from getting what you desire today, it means that you, something better is coming. Something much better is coming. Keep that in mind when you consider the nature of the obstacle in front of you now. Great Spirit loves you so much and only wants the best for you. So explore your options with a playful enthusiastic heart and try and let go of those negative thinking patterns and that defensiveness because it's not it's just keeping you stuck Virgo to be honest all right I do hope that this was helpful to you do take care and I will see you again soon bye bye